One of the first things I learned as a documentary filmmaker, of everyone pays lip service to the fetish of documentation. Not even one person in the entire universe, universe gives a rat's ass about documentation. Um, it's a great word, you know. It, it goes well on grant applications and on mission statements and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's actually it's more like making funerary objects for the pharaoh's tomb, you know. Now, if you get a big pile of tapes and you get a big pile of photographs and you stick them in acid-free boxes and put them in the tomb. No, they're not meant to be looked at or consumed. Um, and actually, it's a lot of events, possibly this one, although my good friend Tony has taken care of me, um, are better celebrated in legend and song than seen again. Um, but what I did did discover about um, documentary is that people don't want to be documented, they want to be loved. It, and if you don't, everyone needs one quote to take away from them that like this. So just remember, nobody wants to be documented, they just want to be loved. Um, <laughs> and, and that's what I do. It's kind of like Britney Spears, you know. Oops, I did it again. Started falling in love, but I'm not that into it. <laughs> um, but that's, that's, really, that's really what I do. I, I, someone says, could you film something? Um, I grab some technology, because I really love the technology. And then I go out and fall in love, um, rather frequently and indiscriminately. You know, I'm told that there's medication for this, but I don't do drugs. So, anyway, I thought I would, I would just show um, some rather large clips from a few films. It's just the tip of the iceberg. We're not going to show everything I shot, although I'd like to. Uh, someone should sit down and watch it all. This is my version of The Lone Star. One, two, three, four, five point. Comes back there. there. How do you know which fingers to put here? Look, one, two, three, four, there. Then, before it goes down, I uh, before it dies out, you got to catch it. Do you go from this, this, this four finger to this, this one? That. No, to the pinky. Yeah. Oh, so like that? Yeah, oh, that's it. You, you'll get it. Don't worry. Sanje Guru Charlie Mitchell, and, and we're all at the Blue Goose, and 
and they are in Northport, Maine. They're about uh, four miles south of Belfast on Route 1. I used to come 30 years ago, and I didn't come for years and years and years. And I came back about two years ago, and I couldn't believe it. You know, it took me right back in time. <laughs> when I came when I was quite young, it's a lot different. It was like a barn. The music, Donnie Spear, he's been here for years and years. And the car out there, he goes with the building, Eddie. When I was in my 20s, I was coming here, and Eddie was always here. Yeah. Milk's kind of bad, isn't it? Well, yeah. But, yeah. Getting by. Getting by. Yeah. yeah. Well, it used to be kind of wild down here years and years ago when it first started, you know. Yeah. It used to be kind of kind of wild, but late, late years, you know. Yeah, I rested, uh, ate one down here all alone one night. <laughs> that was a long while ago. It's all just like an old family here now, you know. This is my sister-in-law. She's married to the guy that plays the sax. And I survived it for 40 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah even while he was learning. You know. I felt like running away back then, Dave. You know, the reason that he plays is all the people in the neighborhood bought instruments for their children, and nobody played, so the old folks picked it up and they decided to take lessons. Will you swing in the center, please? Then we, then we can start with a heavier mixture like that. And we use a badger, this long, long uh, haired brush. It comes from the animal, from the badger animal. So now that's it, that's what I say, that's a heavy thing, and we can adding more water to it you can make it thinner and we can also give it a different texture we can if we wanted to we can make streaks if that happens to be pleasing to us for whatever else we may want to do it we can do things like that we can stipple it that gives it another texture and when this is dry one can also, aside from st st stenciling, one can rub it with the palm of the hand, you know, like that, and this is dry, not before. It does not have to be slaved in detail, what the cartoonists did. Uh, we are fortunate <coughs> in, in that we have uh, been able, in, in this story at least, since the beginning, to follow our own bents. So there's a little bit of the idea of let freedom reign, not develop into slavish copyists, which is the bait of many people. But the main truth is, have we liked what we did over these years? And I have only one ringing answer, and that is yes, indeed. Absolutely. Tell my way, cripple. And my lead me blind. Lord, I won't need some old body. I can shake a line. How many people would be singing at one time? Would everybody? Oh, everybody in there, but you couldn't, couldn't, couldn't hear your ear. And some of them could sing so good till the music go to holly. They just holler. Just silent. Ah, 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 like it was 12 o'clock or something. <laughs>